I can't live my normal lifestyle, that's for sure. There's certainly no joy in, in, in catching crabs and, and oysters and fish if you, if you can't eat them. So, uh, And I've managed to make some enemies too. Um, the, the Maryland Department of the Health, Maryland Department of the Environment, the Navy uh, are not particularly appreciative of my work. In January of 2020, um, I tested the water here in St. Inigo's Creek, and the creek's water was found to contain 1,894.3 parts per trillion. It's not surprising because uh, we're just 1,800 feet from the airport hangar where the base is located across the creek. It's very important for people to understand that uh, although the EPA is asleep at the switch, the Europeans are not. And so the European Food Safety Authority has um, tested food and fish and blood in humans. And they have ascertained that 86% of the uh, PFAS chemicals in our bodies are derived from food and almost all of that from fish that we eat. Also nearby is the town of Chesapeake Beach, Maryland. And this is the location of the Naval Research Labs Chesapeake Bay Detachment, where they've been testing AFFF for, uh, well, since 1968. More than 8 million parts per trillion were found in the subsurface soils there, which I believe may be the highest levels anywhere on Earth. The people in Chesapeake Beach are beginning to organize themselves and are asking questions and wondering if their cancers and diseases can be attributed to these levels of contamination in their town. So it raises a question for me, um, how can it be that the, uh, the hangar that houses the Joint Fighter Strike Force, um, you know, had just a couple hundred parts per trillion of PFA, PFOS shown um, outside of its hangar, and how could it be that the burn pit nearby um, had relatively small levels of PFAS? So I still have questions as far as that's concerned. And it really begs the question, you know, we only know as much as they tell us.